Here in South Louisiana, you're going to have afternoon thunderstorms in the summertime. But the last few weeks, we've been having thunderstorms in the afternoon and in the morning. So you get wet going out and wet coming back in. Yeah, you're right. Ah, lost him. What was that on? This is on a, uh, it's actually a fluke that I have, I've rigged this thing weedless. So it's just a, it's a weedless hook with the Just going after that shark spring, tail. Screw it in the head. It has a little tiny lead, a 16th ounce lead on the hook. They got a little bit of weight. It's basically a weedless fluke. Got one? I have a fish. There we go. Bass. Took it when it hit the water. Looks like a green trout. Blocking the. No, oh, finally, got one of these guys in the boat. It's a little one, but. Get that fluke. I didn't get anything on a gold spoon, but I kept getting hits with this fluke, and sure enough, they seem to like it better. It's in a knot. Look, bass can just proof they can tie knots. That thing is tied in a knot. The body goes right through itself. I like flukes anyway, and Bass Assassin, Saltwater Assassin, has the fluke that is similar to the Green Hornet color, which I really like. So that's a green on top, chartreuse tail. Wow, look at the crabs there. Wow, big ones. Okay, I've got a big crab. Let's see if we can get him up here. doing a little deal. I took my swim, swim uh, weedless swim blade, put it on the hook, and then I just push this back in the body so they can't, they have to rip the shrimp off. In case you're not familiar with what I'm doing, I'm not hooking the crabs. I'm just letting them grab the bait with their claws and then I slowly pull them back and they don't release. So. I caught me four crabs on a swim bait. One of them's about medium size, and uh, a couple of them are kind of small. Actually, that's that's a large size there. So I got a large, medium, a couple small. It's a nice bass. crab again. Got that one. Big one. Oh, it's nice. Real nice. Because that redfish did not want the gold spoon. Uh oh Right in front of you. Oh, oh that's definitely a redfish. Sheesh. Oh. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, look at that thing coming right at us. Wow, it's a huge wake. You get a bite? <laughs> You've got a friggin' redfish. This is uh -huh. off a good job. piece of shrimp on a float, but it's a drop shot. Just to keep that Nice. Good job. Keep that bait stationary and above the bottom. Look at this redfish. Look, look how pretty that is. I need a net him? Yeah. Go ahead. Whoa, he is pretty. 
Man, I got you beat. I put a redfish in the boat before you. Yeah. It took forever. You got yourself a nice crab. But there you go. That's, you know, they, they weren't hitting on our lures. Not at all. All kinds of things. We tried. Oh my goodness. They just look swam how right past. He is. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? They just spooked from our lures, but they picked that piece of shrimp up. So if you haven't gathered, Mark Hood's been fishing with me all day. I don't I never did say that at the start, so but we launched out of Reggio Marina. Uh, pretty cool place. We were trying to go in there and catch bass and redfish. Uh, that was kind of a rough day. We, if we had gotten to the area that we ended, we probably would have caught some decent redfish. But as it was, when we finally found the redfish, they were really spooky. But that was like noon. And um, we just didn't find redfish everywhere like we had hoped. And certainly I had hoped. But uh, it's hot. The water temperature in some of those places shallow was over 90 degrees. Anyway, I caught crabs and bass. That's a new multi-species day for me. Caught seven of these babies. Yeah, so it doesn't help that we have never fished Reggio before, but it's a pretty cool place. I mean, I've seen it on the way to Delacro, but uh, you can get to some marsh areas in here that you can't easily get to with any other launch. And uh, it, there's this canal goes under the Delacro Road and then goes on over toward Lake Leary and all that area. So it looks like you can go under the bridge, at least my boat could. And you could fish on that side. Or you can go out and fish between Delacro and Hopedale. All those marshes go down to Lake Robin. So, yeah, pretty cool spot. So hit the subscribe if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, and I will see you on the water sometime.